Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing my September and October hits and misses and the reason why I've decided to combine September and October together is because I went to Paris in September and there were quite a few products that I tested out and quite a few products that I purchased and I just decided I was going to go ahead and put them both together because there's loads of things that I wanted to show you from September and also October. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I'm so excited to be back in front of the camera because I've been away from the camera for quite a long time and you guys will find out the reason very very soon in a new video which I'm so excited to show you. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure that you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So in this hits and misses video there's not just beauty items there's also fashion items as well and I'm so excited to show you quite a lot of these and I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I have. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the thing that I absolutely love the thing that I am most excited to show you guys and this is my engagement ring so me me and Neil got engaged when we went to Paris and he proposed to me in front of the Eiffel Tower and it was just so lovely and sweet and it was so unexpected as well like we've been together for nearly nine years and I never ever thought I would be engaged to Neil and I never thought he'd do it because it's taken him a very very long time to do it but he actually said to me that when we booked the trip to Paris that was when he decided that he was going to go and propose and he actually bought the ring a week before we went and it didn't fit it was very very close so I managed to put it on my finger but it was a size too small so we just ended up getting it resized so I hadn't been wearing it for about a week and a half and it fits me perfectly now honestly he did the best thing he got me almost the correct size like I said it was just one size off and it fits me perfectly now and it's just so cute and it's just like a little princess ring and I just think it is the most amazing thing that I've had that trip was incredible the best trip that I've ever been on and we're actually planning to go back to Paris in the near future because it was just really really good even the place that we stayed was incredible so I will link all of my Paris vlogs down below for you so you can check them out we do a room tour we also go all through Disneyland Paris we go through all Paris that we saw as well on that day and we also show you our hotel as well we do a hotel tour and I also show you me getting engaged and where Neil proposed to me and it was just the most amazing holiday I absolutely loved it so this is by far my favourite thing that I have to show you in this video. So while I'm not talking about makeup products, I'm going to go ahead and show you the two fashion items that I have and then I'm going to go on to the beauty products. So the next things I have to show you I got from Disneyland Paris and if you guys have seen my vlogs, also if you see my Instagram, you'll know probably what these are. So the first one are these lovely rose gold pink mini mouse ears and I love these as soon as I saw them I fell in love with them I saw them all over Instagram and everyone had them and I was like I really need to get them and I found them when I went to Paris and these were actually the second pair that I got I took another pair when I went to Paris that I bought last time and they're just the normal mini mouse ones but these ones are the pink glittery ones and I love them this is what they look like and they are just so so cute and the next ones that I got were actually another pair of ears and these ones were the first ones that I got on this trip to Disneyland Paris and even Neil was like they're actually really really cute and this is what they are they are the little mermaid ears and if you guys have seen loads of my videos you'll know that the little mermaid is my favorite movie also Ariel is my favorite Disney princess and obviously I have red hair so it went really really well and I saw these and I was like these are the most incredible ears I've ever seen in my life and this is what they look like on honestly I hate the way that this camera is because you can't really see them so this is what these ears look like and they are just absolutely cute and I love them and I thought Neil was going to be quite embarrassed when we went around Disneyland Paris because he's not one of those people that likes to have like Disney stuff where he doesn't like all of the corny stuff as he calls it or the funny stuff so he actually really enjoyed it and he even said that they look really cute as well and the last fashion item that I have have is my new bag and I absolutely love this I've had this since I believe July or August and you guys may know what this is if you follow me on Instagram but this is by C by Chloe and I actually got this in the sale I think it was like half price and it was amazing and I didn't actually realize it was this small until I opened it but I actually really like to have small bags especially in summer I was wearing this every day in summer because it just fits all the stuff that you need in here but it's not too big and it's not too small so this is what the bag looks like and it's called a mini Hannah bag and this one is the pink one so you have some suede around here then you also have leather around here and I really like this detail I love the little charm on there I love that it says C by Chloe on there as well this is a crossbody and 
I just love it so much. It's just so cute. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you just have the cloth lining. You also have a bit of the leather on the inside. As you can see, a little bit of makeup got in there. But I'm not really too worried about that because that's just the inside. And then this is what the room looks like inside. So you have a tiny little pocket right here. I used to put my coupons for boots in there. So this doesn't actually fit a lot of stuff in here. So for instance, if I wanted to put my iPhone in, this is the iPhone 7. And I have to put it in sideways because if I put it in upright, it doesn't actually close properly. But I actually managed to fit everything that I needed in here. So I had my keys, I had my phone, I also had my little purse as well. And I also had a hand sanitizer and a lip gloss and that fits all in here. Now it is a little bit tight, so you have to make sure that if you do want to put things in here you do downsize a bit but I had absolutely no problems with this I love to have small bags as well I do have this on the biggest setting but I can use this as a crossbody on the biggest setting and sometimes it's actually too long for me but this is an amazing bag it holds up so well so now that I've finished the fashion items I'm going to go ahead and go on to the beauty items and these are all of my hits so the first one that I have I think I've spoken about in a hits and misses video before and this is my the balm nude beach palette I took this to Paris with me this was the only palette that I took with me and it is so good you get so many different colors in here you can try out loads of different looks as well and as you can see on the way back it got a little bit smashed so I have a smash mirror in here but as you can see as well I have used so much of these colors I've hit pan on three four of these colors I use all of them they are so good and they blend amazingly they're stand all day as well they're creamy they're buttery they just look so good and I highly recommend this palette this was the only one that I took away with me and I use this every single day and this didn't fail me at all it's just absolutely perfect and it's also very slim line as well so you can take it with you traveling and it also has the magnetic closure as well so it doesn't pop open when it's in your bag but I love this and I highly recommend it and the soap and glory one heck of a block foundation I have had this for probably about two to three years and I love this foundation I have two different shades in this this one is cool sand I also have happy medium and they're for different stages of self tan and I haven't used this for probably about a year and then last week I actually decided I was going to go ahead and try this out for work and I forgot how good it was it lasts all day it makes the skin look amazing it is perfect for oily skin it doesn't make you look oily at all and I have the most oiliest skin in the world but this is amazing it's super affordable as well I did do a first impression on this a couple of years ago which I'll link down below for you or somewhere in this video so you can check it out but honestly this is so good it's one of my favorite drugstore foundations I do need to get rid of this one because it's been in my makeup collection for like I said about two or three years so I'm actually going to be repurchasing another one because like I said I've fallen back in love with it and it is just an amazing foundation next is another foundation and this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and I know this is really pricey that's why I didn't purchase it for the longest time but I saw so many reviews on people that had oily skin and they said that it was incredible and I decided I was going to go ahead and purchase it when I went to Selfridges a few months ago and I've actually already got through one bottle and this is my second bottle and I'm wearing it at the moment. It just makes your skin look so nice and clear. It covers up all the blemishes. It makes it look like your own skin but better. It literally lasts all day. I don't need to powder this. I don't need to use a primer underneath this and even on my very oily skin this lasts all day and looks absolutely perfect on the skin. So the shade that I'm wearing is 3.5 and I would say if you do want to buy this foundation definitely get colour match because I went on the Giorgio Armani website and also went on Temptalia. I put on my foundations that I usually wear and it actually came up with a foundation that was lighter than this one. It wasn't just one shade, it was about two or three shades lighter and luckily I decided to get colour match because I looked at it and I was like that seems really really fair and this one is the perfect shade for me it matches my self tan perfectly when I have a light self tan and for so many years I've been going on about the Estee Lauder Double Earth Foundation be my holy grail but this has actually taken over that I've been wearing this when I'm not at work and it just looks amazing it looks like perfection on the skin and I can't say anything else because it is just that good next I have a new item that I purchased a couple of weeks ago and I was on the fence about purchasing this for probably about five or six months and I decided when I went into Harvey Nichols I was going to test this out and I tried it on my hand and I was like that is perfection and this is a Fenty Beauty Match stick in the shade Starstruck and I don't really get on with stick concealers, foundations, highlighters, blushes, anything like that. They don't tend to work on my skin, they don't tend to stay on because like I said I do have oily skin and it tends to get all of my foundation off and this I tried and this is incredible. I'm actually wearing it at the moment and 
this is what it looks like it is just a really beautiful strong highlighter there is another one that i've seen i think it's called confetti that i think is just incredible however i know that i wouldn't wear it unless it was like a party or unless it was christmas or something like that so I really do want to get some more of these but I just can't push the boat out at the moment just because I don't really know if there's any other shades that I would use. So this is what it looks like. I'm not too sure if you can see in this video but you can sort of see it shining there. And I also have some concealers and this is the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer. I did do a first impression on this watch I will link for you and I absolutely love this concealer. I have three different shades in this. I have 4.0, 3.0 and 2.0. The 4.0 I used to spot conceal and have a light tan because that is the same shade that I use in the foundation at the moment. 3.0 is good for highlighting if you want to have a nice light highlight if you don't want it to be really brightening and 2.0 is a shade that I use to highlight my under eyes and this is an amazing concealer it is so good it is full coverage it's really affordable as well and I use this every single day when I go to work it's just that good it stays on all day as well and it looks amazing on the skin. Then I have my favourite mascara at the moment and this is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara mascara this is the most amazing mascara that i've ever worn in my life i use this for work i use this when i'm not in work it makes my eyelashes look so long so thick so full and it is pretty expensive that's why i've been repurchasing the small ones because small ones are 10 pounds and i feel like over 20 pound for mascara is quite a lot of money but this is an amazing mascara it is perfection it makes my eyelashes look so good it looks like i'm wearing full lashes when i wear this and it's just incredible so i definitely recommend it also i did do a first impression on this which i will link in this video for you as well and still keeping with the eye theme these are my favorite eyelashes at the moment these are the ardell individuals in the knotted flare trios in medium black and i'm wearing these at the moment when i've been wearing these i've just been doing the outer part of my lashes and it just opens up the eyes so much better i did actually wear these when i went to paris and this was the only eyelash that i was wearing and they just just looks so good you can use them for a full lash also you can use them for a half lash and that's what I'm using them for and it's so easy to use these as well it's so much easier than using normal full lashes because sometimes you can get irritated on the inside and I haven't gone back to normal lashes since I purchased these because they are just that good they're reusable they're so affordable and they just look incredible the next thing that I have is a liquid lipstick and this is the illuminate by Ashy Tisdale liquid lipstick in the shade London and this is an amazing color this is the only shade that I was wearing when I went to Paris it was one of the only lipsticks that I took with me I took this one and I also took a MAC lipstick and this one was the one that I was wearing pretty much all the time because it is just that good it stays on all day it's a gorgeous color as well it's actually better than the Kylie liquid lipsticks and that is saying something because I used to love those this is the applicator so the applicator looks different to all of the other ones so it is a lot easier to get on your lip line because it does curve outwards and this is just really good and this is a shade that I have it's in the shade London this is beautiful I have three or four different shades of this liquid lipstick and they are just incredible you do have to make sure that you're very careful with it the first time that you put it on because it is quite liquidy so when you put it on beware because I put it on the other week and I completely forgot about the formula of this so I put it on and because I got it so far in my lip it ended up going all around my mouth and it ended up having pink teeth which is not the best. So I ended up just getting some cotton rounds and just going around my teeth and getting it all off. It comes off very easily if you get it inside your mouth but this literally lasts through everything. I wear this to the cinema, I'm eating, I'm drinking and it stays on throughout the whole film and it doesn't even look like anything's touched it. It doesn't budge. And the last two hits are brand new products and the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Crown Waterproof Eyeliner and I went to Boots to get a new waterproof eyeliner and I didn't want to spend the money on my Smashbox one that I love so I went to Boots, I went to the drugstore Section and I found this in the L'Oreal section and I was like you know what I might as well just try it out because I can't really lose anything it's not very expensive at all I think this is probably about four or five pounds at the most so I decided to go ahead purchase it and try it out this is the most amazing waterproof eyeliner I've ever tried in my life this is so creamy it goes on amazingly very very smooth it's completely waterproof so even if you cry it will not come off if you get hay fever if you get watery eyes this literally will not budge and I'll show you how creamy it is as well so this is a really light swipe and that is how 
pigmented and creamy is is just so good and I highly recommend it I will not go back to a high-end eyeliner anymore because this is just that good it's so affordable like I said it's about four or five pounds you can always get it on free for tour buy one get on half price and it is just so good and it doesn't irritate my sensitive eyes as well so that is a very big plus for me as well and the last hit that I have is the natural collection tinted brow gel now I needed a new brow gel after my gimme brow by benefit decided it was going to run out and I went to boots and I was having a look around and I was like let's see what I can get that's cheap and affordable and I went to the natural collection section sometimes I have some really good things I used to shop there when I was younger I think when I was probably about year eight I used to get so much of the stuff in there and it was really good and everything is under two pounds which is absolutely crazy so I decided I was going to get the brow gel and see how it is now it doesn't say if it's waterproof or anything all it says is color defined fill and fix and I have to tell you right now this is an incredible brow gel it stays on all day it makes my eyebrows look so nice and so thick even if I don't use my NYX brow pencil with this my eyebrows just look so good and like I said it stays on all day and this is what the brush looks like so it's a very small brush it's not small as the benefit one but you get so much product on here so I do have to warn you just make sure that you get the tip off like this and it's just so good it's really precise I don't have any problems with it and it's really pigmented and it's less than two pound so it's absolutely amazing especially for the price it is just so good and I actually think I might prefer this to my benefit one as well and I actually feel like it might be the best brow gel I've ever tried so those are all my hits and now I'm going to go on to my misses and I only actually have one miss for the last two months and I think that's really good for me because usually I tend to find some products I don't really like so the only miss that I have is this Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. Now I did do a first impression on this, which I will link in this video for you, and I wasn't really too sure how I felt about the foundation. It's because it's one of those where it's very, very creamy and it looks really good when you first put it on. It's full coverage, it covers everything, it just glides on amazingly. You don't need a lot of this foundation. The only thing is, no matter how much I prime, no matter how much I powder, this will come off during the day. It can be about three hours and it's come all the way off of my nose. And I think it's just because of how creamy it is. Now I do have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, which I really like. And that one doesn't come off during the day. I think probably because it's a little bit tougher than this. It's not as creamy. And I have the shades F6 and F8. And I wasn't sure which shade to get because I was looking on the website and the swatches seemed a little bit different. And then I looked at the descriptions of them and this one said it was light medium with yellow undertone and then F8 said it was a medium with yellow undertone. So I decided to purchase both of them because I wasn't really too sure which one I would be. And I'm a mixture of the two. I do use F6 if I have a light self tan. But in all honesty, with my oily skin, this does not hold up very well. If you do have dry skin, it might be a lot better for you, but this pretty much just glides off my face after a couple of hours and it sinks into my pores and it just doesn't look that good after the end of the day. So I'll do some swatches so you can see what they look like. The colours are a little bit off as well. So for instance, F6 does, like I said, match me when I have a very light self tan. So this is what F6 looks like. As you can see, it's incredibly creamy. I didn't even go hard on it. And this one is F8. So as you can see, there's an incredibly big difference between the two of them. F8 is actually very, very orange. Even when I have a darker self tan, this doesn't match me. The undertone is very, very orange. They do tend to go down very, very quickly. So for instance, this is all of the foundation that I have left. And all I've done is try this about four or five times and that's how much I've got left. Now it is really affordable. It's only five pounds for the stick foundation. But in all honesty, I would rather just save the money and get another one of Makeup Revolution's foundations or just get another drugstore foundation. So those are my hits and misses from September and October. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you love, just comment down below to let me know and I'll be sure to check it out if I haven't already. Also, I'm very sorry if you do like the things that I said I didn't like in this video. They just basically didn't work for me. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!